It's not uncommon to hear people comment that, well, the Earth has been warmer in the past, and that was no big deal. And it's true, the Earth has been warmer and it has been much colder in the past, and indeed, due to natural variability in the Earth's system. But that doesn't mean that pertains to us today. Here, you see a plot of Earth's temperature over the last 500 million years. On the left, you can see the temperatures for change in Celsius. So this plot goes up to about plus 15 degrees Celsius and minus six degrees Celsius. And on the right, you can see those temperatures in Fahrenheit. What you can see very easily is that there were periods of time, for example, close to 500 million years ago, when the Earth was much, much hotter than today and the poles essentially felt like the tropics. And there were times in Earth's history where it's been much, much colder. Indeed, at times even before we see here, there were periods where we think the entire Earth was covered in snow and ice. But if you focus in here on the most recent 10,000 years called the Holocene, you'll notice the Earth's temperature didn't seem to change a lot during the Holocene. Now, why would that be important? Because that's the time period when humans were establishing ourselves on Earth. So if we look to what human populations have been doing on Earth, we start to understand that some of those distant times in Earth's history aren't actually that important. Here, the Earth was reaching about 1 billion people just as recently as 1800. We're now at almost 8 billion people. So it's just over the last one to 200 years that modern civilization has really been built. We've created nation states, we've created roads, homes, infrastructure, developed agriculture in places where we wish to be able to continue to farm or ranch the same species into the future. So it's this recent time period that's actually important to us. And if we hone in on the last 1,000 years of change, we can see the last 100 to 200 years has seen a lot of rapid change. In blue, we see how much carbon dioxide there is in our atmosphere. And we can see that we've gone from 280 parts per million of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere before the Industrial Revolution to 420 parts per million in our atmosphere today. So this air all around us is already radically transform. And in red, we can see that this change in carbon dioxide is in a close-knit relationship with our change in our global temperature, which has now reached about 1.2 degrees warming as a global average. Now, scientists have a very good idea of what causes natural changes in our Earth system and what human-caused changes occur in our Earth system. And we can create computer simulations to look at what these changes might do to our climate. Here, you can see the black line are direct observations of our planet's temperature. So warmer temperatures here above this zero line. And you can see then in this light green, the different sources of natural variability in our system orbital changes, how the Earth is rotating around the sun, if it's wobbling, if the sun itself is perhaps more active and producing warming in our Earth system, or also how many volcanoes there are on the Earth at this time and how active they are. These are all natural things that happen to influence our climate. And you can see that if we use a computer simulation to examine these natural changes, we would expect that the Earth's climate right now would have stayed pretty close to a standard temperature with a couple cooling events, mostly associated with volcanic events. We can also then look at what are the human caused changes creating warming. For example, how are we changing land use or adding ozone to the atmosphere or aerosols like dust or soot and greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane and other polluting warming gases. And you can see that that simulation of these human factors generally follows what we've observed, but it's a lot smoother than what we've observed. And in fact, what we experience in the Earth's climate is this combination of natural changes 
and human changes that are creating this overall trend of warming, but with year to year variability. So as you're talking with others, yes, the earth has been warmer in the past, but that wasn't influencing human society, which is what we most care about. And people are the drivers of the change that we see today. Now, we're in a really unique and precious window during which human choices and actions are going to determine our future path. So we can see we are really active players in the climate and it's up to us to determine where the climate goes from here.